Happy Math Day, everyone. I hope you're enjoying your math and your calculator and all things number related. I wanted to draw your attention to a funny button on the calculator, and it looks like this. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. It looks like this, and that's your fraction button. Now, depending on what calculator you have, um, this button might look slightly different, but it probably looks something like that with a fraction in it. And um, if you're using the Texas Instruments um, 30XA calculator, it definitely has it on there. I just put some pen on my button, darn. But anyway, that's gonna let you do all things fraction related. So if you wanted to add fractions or multiply fractions or do anything with fractions, you can use that button very easily. I'll show you how to do it. Um, so let's say you had something like two and one quarter. Two and one quarter can get inputted into the calculator very easily. Um, first, you gotta turn it on, and then you're gonna put two, fraction button, one, fraction button, four. So you can see there that two and one quarter is now into the calculator. And from here, we can do anything we want with it, right? We can add three, right, to give us five and one quarter. We can multiply it by 100 to give us 525. We can do anything we want, right? And that also lets us add multiple fractions or subtract multiple fractions or do anything we want with multiple fractions. So let's say we had two and a quarter and we wanted to add one third. So we would input two and one quarter. So two, fraction button one, fraction button four, plus one, fraction button three. And then hit it equals. And we get two and seven over 12. So obviously the fraction button is super fun. Um, the other thing it can do is reduce numbers. So let's say you had something like 50 over 100. Instead of doing the manual steps to reduce these two numbers, right? You could you know, divide them both by 10 or divide them both by 50 and start to chip away and reduce them, reduce them, reduce them. There's an easier way. You can just put them into the calculator, 50, fraction button 100, and hit equals. And it will reduce it to one half. So anytime you have like a big, you know, fraction like that, you can always reduce it just by putting it into the calculator, 50, fraction button 100, and then just hit equals. The other fun thing is kind of next to the fraction button, and let's see if I can zoom in here. You see uh, this arrow, and then you see F and D. And, um, you know, in life, maybe F and D stands for fun and distracting, uh, but in math, F and D is fraction and decimal. And the arrow is going to switch between fraction and decimal. When the font is in that yellowy green font, you have to use the, the second function button to activate it. So that's that button up there. So watch what I mean here. I'm going to just zoom out. We have one half in the calculator. I want to convert that to a decimal. So I'm going to press second function and then the arrow. And that's going to convert that to 0.5. Now I want to convert it back to a fraction. I'm going to press second function and then the arrow again. And that's going to convert that number to a, uh, a fraction again. And that'll work with, with any fraction, right? Like uh, three over 11, you know, a weird fraction like that. Second function arrow will convert that to a decimal number, 0.27272727, and then we can convert it back. Cheers.